Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I have two things to show you. I went away and came back and there were two boxes at my door. I just opened them, but I did not take anything out. This one is e.l.f. And so I'm going to show you what's in here. This came as a free gift. Hand sanitizer, two ounces. But it's 62% alcohol. And they recommend, I think, what, 70%? So I guess I'll just like keep it in the car or something. So what I purchased was three lip pencils. I'm sorry, three, oh my gosh, two lip liners, and at the bottom, what well, the opposite end of the liner, there's a brush. I'm going to open them and show you, and I bought a gloss, and I purchased a matte lip color in cranberry. The purpose was, I don't want to open my, my Fenty Stunners. I have four that I have not opened yet, because I know I'm not going to wear them enough to wear them before they expire in a year, and so I don't want to open them. But I do want to do my lips for videos, and so I've just been using a Fenty Gloss Balm, just the hot chocolate, which is, it just enhances my natural lip color, which is what I have on now. So that's why I purchased these lip colors and these lip pencils. Okay, apparently I got two of the same color, because both of these say deep brown. So one I'm not going to open. And I think because it's a universal color, or I'm hoping it'll be a uni universal color on me. And this is what it looks like. Deep brown. Yeah, this will be universal on me. So, and it does retract, which is great. And the other end is a brush for your lipstick. This isn't lipstick, but if you wanted to blend it out, you could see that yeah and it does say on here when you hold it this way this says line when you hold it this way this side says blend so they help you even know how to use it I purchased a liquid matte lipstick I have no lip products from elf and so I'm curious to try them vampy violet because I like dark lips on me so that's what this is well I almost couldn't get it out and it looks like some sparkle in there even though oh my gosh i love this color vampy violet but it looks like some cranberry in there oh wow that is beautiful and the matte lip color I purchased in Cranberry, which to me, Cranberry is a darker color than what this is looking like. So we will see. Well, I don't want to roll it up too high. And this is retractable as well. And so this is what it feels loose. Let me turn it back down. This to me does not look Cranberry. This is my trying to figure out face. And when I huff. That to me does not look cranberry. But over a liner, let me see. Over that dark liner. Yeah, now that to me looks cranberry. So that'll work. I put the liner all over my lid and then put my lid. Put the liner all over my lip and then put this on top. This color I think is too cool for me. This, I like that color. So that is what I will be doing and you will be seeing me wearing that combo in videos. The other thing I purchased, the company is called, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, Sechu, Sechu. This is the name of the company down here. I have been looking at jade rollers, rose quartz rollers, other rollers, like for under eye area. I do have under eye discoloration, under eye bags. Um, they have gotten better since I've been using um, the Dr. Dennis Gross eye serum and his eye cream. So my under eye discoloration has gotten better. But I was looking at these videos thinking, is there anything else I can help do for my face? I am 51. I'm going to link below 
this product, the video for it, and also how to use these products. If it's two separate videos, it'll be two links. If it's only one video where she shows them and demonstrates, it'll be one link. However, there is another video of another person that shows how to properly use the jade roller and also the gua sha. So I did purchase them both. For the three piece set, the gua sha, the roller, and they call it a slip agent because you don't want this to drag on your skin. So they do recommend putting an oil or something on your skin before you use it. I went ahead and purchased it and hopefully it won't break my face out. It's called thick skin. So for these three together it was $80. If my skin likes this stuff and it works, I will continue to use it. This, I'm looking at the bottom, expires December 2023. This is February 2021. So that gives me a lot of time to use this if my skin likes it. And it is one fluid ounce. Both of these are stainless steel. And that's why I like them. Because some people were saying the jade may be porous or the rose quartz may be porous because they're stone. And also, like, how do you... Oh, I'm tripping trying to get this open jade authentic jade never gets warm and some people were saying the jade rollers they bought were warm they didn't know if it was the real jade or not stainless still stays cold whenever and so also for people who use jade rollers or any type of rollers for their face some people use it with their skincare to for their serums and their creams and some people i'm still trying to open this box and some people um when they put on a face sheet mask They'll use the roller. I don't like sheet masks. To me, they just feel slimy. I'm still trying to open this box. <laughs> so I opened it, and this is what it looks like inside. And it does come with a carrying case, which is nice, and it has their name brand on here. And it has a little divot for you to put your finger in to take it out. Oh, my, the thing fell off. Up here it says... Hey you, thanks so much for joining me on my skincare tools revolution. I sincerely hope you love your purchase. My team and I have put a lot of heart and research into it and we are super happy with the result. If for any reason you're not happy, please reach out to me <laughs> and my team at, and then it has their email address. It also means the world to me and my team if you would leave us a review. Love Sarah. Um, she does have a YouTube channel. So... I have saw from other videos, it's not uncommon for this to fall out because it doesn't go all the way through the still, which may or may not affect the integrity of the still. And so right now, I'm just trying to pop this back in. Okay, and it does move side to side a little bit. So I do have on a full face. So I'm wondering like if I still wanna do this. And it has their name on here as well. Also, the video will show you the proper way to use this because these are the purpose is to drain your your lymph nodes. And looking at the video, there's lymph nodes here, somewhere else, <laughs> and also down here. And I was watching I, at least two of the videos I saw before and after, like for people's chin, it decreased um, the sagginess under their chin. And I have been wondering if this is just fluid because it's only right here. Like fluid is pulling right here or just a piece of fat right here. Like it doesn't go all the way across, which I always thought was weird. And so I'm thinking it may just be fluid. And if I can get that to drain down into my lymph nodes here, then this would be good to help with that. And so for your chin, you come down. Oh, this does feel good because it's cold. And I forget like how many times you're supposed to do it on each side. Feels good, nice and cold. And so this is how you use this down here. And again, I will link the video below. For your jawline, you're supposed to go up because your lymph node is up here. So you come up, up your jaw and bring it up here. And I forget how many times you're supposed to do it on each side. You're not rolling it back and forth. You're always going up this way. You're rolling it up. And on your cheeks, you roll over, but into that same spot. I forget up here, like what you're supposed to do, so I'm not even gonna get into that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that. <laughs> and the smaller one just helps you get 
into a smaller space or if you just wanna if you have a sheet mask on and you're doing you know under your eyes or above your upper lip that area the other product in here the gua sha tool that's in here the note is the same it has a carry case for this too sorry for the glare of that product for that item so the cases are nice it has a little divot in here for you to put your finger in to scoop it out and this is the gua sha and they have G these in jade and the rose quartz and all of that too but this is what it looks like and this one just goes deeper into your muscles and to move well not to move but to yeah to move fluid <laughs> to drain it through your lymph nodes and the purpose of this one and this shape is for you to do your jawline this is going to mess up my makeup i don't even care right now so this gives you a deeper and a more concentrated because this fits right here and you take it up into your lymph node area to help it drain this goes deeper than the roller i think this is like every other day or maybe every day i'm not sure this says like only i think two or three times a week don't quote me and i am going to list the, the video below so you can see what they're saying if you want to do this across your jawline you can use this side or across your cheek area if you want to and down your chin and so the videos I saw, like they did this every day. I think one did it for like seven days. One did it for like 30 days. And it was a noticeable difference with the before and after pictures. And so I'm wondering if I want to do a before and after. We'll see. But so that's why I purchased these because if my skin likes it, well, not if my skin likes it, but if it does really help, because I am getting older you know gravity sagging and all of that stuff and i didn't necessarily need the slip agent like as i said earlier i think you can just use your moisturizer or your facial serum or something let me open this i opened everything else sorry about that so this is what that looks like it's called thick skin apply the face and neck as needed to hydrate ingredients something i can't pronounce something i can't pronounce dimethicone is the third ingredient swelling Dimethicanol, something I can't pronounce, something, 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 something. Not tested on animals, please recycle. So we'll see. So if you, I know my voice just went weird. This has a plastic thing on here because I was going to try and open it real quick, but I could open it and speed through it. Oh gosh, this is hard. So this is what that looks like out oh. and so you you just put this all over your face and neck to hydrate if you're allergic to silicones this will not work for you because it does have dimethicone in it which is a type of silicone and it does feel like very i wanted to say slimy but they call it a slip agent so i'll just say it feels very slippery because it just sounds better <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> wow, like that's and I have glitter all over my hand from doing this eye look with the Pat McGrath palette. This ugh. okay, let me end this video because I'm about I feel like I'm about to go on a tangent here. Thank you for watching. If you have tried either one of these products from this brand, let me know what you think of them. If you've tried the thick skin with it. Let me know what you think about it. If you just have the regular jade roller, quartz roller, whatever other kind of rollers you have, let me know what you think about them. And if you think that they really are helping your skin or not. And if you're using a product for this area under here, let me know how that's been working for you as well. So thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video. Thanks.